So grab your coffee and let's talk about lessons learned. And that means understanding what mistakes you've made in your SEO and how to fix them. That's what we're going to talk about today. Okay class, today we're going to talk about SEO do's and don'ts. So get your pens out because we're going to go through my top five reasons why SEO does not work and the key things to look out if you are going to actually hire an SEO company. So number one is going to be, drum roll please, never buy links. No link buying. Linking happens organically. So if you get a link from a third party, so let's say you belong to a chamber of commerce, absolutely get a link from there. Maybe you get written up in one of the magazines, make sure to ask that they link back to your website. Linking is really important, but we never want to pay or buy for links. Someone comes to you and says, hey, I'll give you 10,000 links from the Ukraine. <laughs> Just say no. Just say no. Okay, so that's the first tactic. The second tactic is never duplicate content. So it's really tempting when you write one piece of content to use it in multiple different places. Well, the problem is, is that Google timestamps that first piece of content. And then if you use it somewhere else, it knows the original versus the duplicate. So make sure that you're being really careful about how you are creating content. Now, some of you might hire content coaches or content writers. So the first thing is one of my tools is called Copyscape. Now, Copyscape, anybody gives you a piece of content, you run it through Copyscape and it will tell you instantly if there's been any plagiarism, meaning they've taken it from something else and they've used it as part of your content because you don't want to get dinged for duplicate content. You want to make sure that you're getting original content. Oh, and by the way, teachers use this for high school and college students too. <laughs> Smart, right? <laughs> okay, number two is we are never going to create a non-responsive website. Google friendly, meaning I can pull it this way. It looks great on a desktop, looks perfect on an iPad, and looks readable on a smartphone. And the problem is, as business owners, we don't ever experience that. You should be looking at your website on a desktop, on an iPad, and a mobile device. It should be responsive, almost like a rubber band. I can pull it big, and I can make it go back to a small size. It still looks amazing. Very important to SEO that that thing be purring like a kitten, and that when I come in there, Google has no reason not to rank you. Number three, of course, we talked about not buying links. So there are a lot of websites that will offer you all different kinds of services. Fiverr, Elance, you can go onto those sites right now and say, get me 5,000 views on my video. Or you can go in there and say, get me 10,000 links. And we just go in as business owners and say, make it go away, Look, and we pay $5 dollars and be like, just make that go away, I'll just do it that way. The problem is, is that Google knows about every possible deceptive behavior. There's some smart people at Google. They know about the white text on the white background. They know about keyword stuffing in titles. They know about everything you can think of that is deceptive has already been figured out by Google. When I first started to do speaking at search engine marketing conferences, there was a massive amount of deceptive practice. And that was okay until Google found out and then you did something else that was deceptive. Now that window's gone from here to this, almost nothing that we could do to create false relevance. So when we think about what should we be doing that are bad SEO mistakes, of course we got the copy, make sure that copy's non-duplicate, make sure it's website friendly or Google friendly so I can stretch it and make it small, it looks great. And then also I'm never gonna buy links, ever, ever, ever. Now the last thing I'm gonna talk to you about is a problem I see a lot of business owners make. When you go to hire someone for a website development project, you have two choices. You go proprietary or you go like WordPress, where it, the system's already set up for you. The problem with proprietary is that person is the only person who could ever manage that website ever. That's a problem because when you have a webmaster divorce or you decide not to use that company, they've built all this code from scratch. That means that you're pretty much what we call in code jail. You can't get away from that because they're the ones who built it. So from a good SEO standpoint, you want something that is open source, something like WordPress 
or even Squarespace or Wix because it has a system by which you can go in and easily add the SEO elements. Sometimes I talk to clients and they're like, well, we sent a request to our webmaster two weeks ago to add a metadata, to add a title or a description, and we still haven't heard back. Just so you know, that's not a hard thing. And if they're gonna take two weeks to get back to you and charge you $250 an hour, do you see how that's not going to help you with your SEO strategy? So make sure that you have a non-proprietary system that you can get access to and add those SEO features. Your title, your headline, your links, your images, you should feel comfortable in adding those elements, which are so important. So the biggest mistake, my final mistake number four, is proprietary code. Just say no. If it's anything proprietary, custom, custom built, that should be your first red flag to say, uh-uh, I want something that if I fire you, I can pick up somebody else in a heartbeat and it's not gonna stop my business. So SEO mistakes are easy, I get it. So continue to watch my videos. If you have had an SEO mistake that you have or it's something that's come across your desk, post it below in the comments. I love to see people's engagement on my videos and any learnings you've had that you can share with our subscribers would be hugely helpful and appreciated. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell so that you can get our daily videos and stay up to date on the most findable techniques to dominate online.